Hey there guys, so today we're fishing a little bit different. We have this little tiny micro swim bait from Euro Tackle that my friend Lucas the Fisherman sent me. I just saw him. You're over here now. That unholy creation, that giant. Sweet looking rainbow trout. It's a little windy today, so audio may not be the best. The plan is we're just gonna fish it right around these rocks. It drops down about 10, 15 feet. We're just gonna let this bounce around down there and see if anything eats it. I think I already mentioned it, but uh, go check out Lucas the Fisherman. He fishes a lot of baits like this, so if you like seeing the, the smaller tackle. He caught the biggest stinking rock bass I've ever seen a few weeks ago. I'll ask him if I can put that clip in here and show y'all real quick. Oh my God, Lord have mercy, Lord. Is that not the biggest rock bass you have ever seen? We usually fish four pound mono on this pole, but I went to re-spool it today and there wasn't enough really on the spool for me to feel comfortable fishing that. So, uh, we have eight pound mono right now. It's a little bit thicker than what I would like, but I don't think in these conditions it's gonna shy away any fish. It's definitely getting hit. We just need something to commit. Now these baits are scented a lot more than I thought they were. I opened the package and kind of looked at one for maybe about 10, 15 seconds. And it was so hard to get that smell off my hands. So these aren't just like, just plastic. They got some oomph to them. I don't think that'll help one commit to it. That was a good bite. Oh, he took our tail. Look at that. Thinking uh, we're just gonna keep fishing it like this for a second. And if we don't get any bites, we'll put a new plastic on, but that was right away. So if we switched them out every time we lost the tail, I don't think we'd have any left at the end of the day. We're just kind of letting it sink down there and we're just hopping it around the rocks. Let me put another one on with the fresh tail, but I really don't see any reason that this won't catch a fish. idiot that was a good bite i just kind of froze all right try again yes yes perfect size for that little swim bait he peed on me hold him up for the boat they don't care they don't care. But I am happy. That guy is a pretty little bass. I'll get y'all out of the fish eye zoom so you can actually see what's happening. Look at that dude. Get him unhooked. Try to hold him in the sun. That is freaking awesome. That guy is so dark. He really looks like a Florida strain. He's so healthy. There's not a single thing wrong on this fish. Is he a spot? No, he's a normal one. He looks different than other ones around here. That is awesome. Very, very pretty fish. Get him back in those waves. He looked so brown when he was coming up. I thought I caught my first smallmouth. Uh, this looks snaky. Please no snakes. This looks kind of good. Give me some fish back here. It's a big rock right out in front of us. Let's see if we can get on that. Oh, something had it. Try that again. The bites here are seeming a lot less frequent than usual. I don't think that's the lure. 
Oh, that was a big thump. Is that another bass? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going crazy. All right, let's get him up here. Looks about exactly the same as the last one. Where's that hook at? Right in his tongue. Okay, we're gonna go over here and get the pliers. And they're this small, it can just be really, really hard to reach into their mouths. I was a little late on the hooks at that time. There we go, barely hooked. Beautiful little fish. Take some pictures of them and throw them back. Pretty, pretty fish. They're really dark off these rocks for some reason. Oh no, this line sucks. We're just going into increasingly snakier and snakier territory. Come on. Got it. Throw it right up in the sticks. Oh, a little too much in the sticks. Quick little step a -roo. It's like three baseballs in this tree. Interesting. Interesting lake trash. Next spot. This area is pretty cool. There was a big sinkhole that opened up here and it was a big ordeal. There used to be a lot of trees and it was very natural down here, but they got all these rocks put here now. But since they had that sinkhole, they ended up putting a giant tunnel here, I guess to drain water. And fish seem to like this tunnel. So we'll see if we can pull one out of here. I don't know if y'all can see, I'll kind of do one of those. We're just right over that tunnel. May climb down on the rocks in a minute so I can get a better view to show you. This area is just mucky. This looks like a sewer. Try and get up in the tunnel. That was pretty far in there. Fish keep grabbing it. I saw him hit it. That guy was tiny. Oh, that was something big. It just started ripping drag. I know you guys probably couldn't hear it because my the clicking on my drag is broken. I don't know what that was. I think it was snagged because there was a little scale on my hook. <laughs> that was crazy. Try out there. That's not a fish. Whatever it is, we're moving it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That sucks. All right, so we switched our rig out just a little bit. We're still fishing the little Euro tackle swim bait, but since it's so shallow here and there's so much stuff to snag on, we're just using a little tiny, normal panfish hook. And we ran it as deep as we could. So that hook point is way back there. Hoping that'll help with some of the short strikes. <laughs> I knew that would work. He is tiny. Oh, he is super cool looking though. Very purple. Kind of foul hooked, honestly. Look at that. Super purple little green sunfish. They color up very cool when they're in spots like this. Get that hook out. A 
is an absolutely huge gar right here. It, it's the biggest long nose I've ever seen. That had to have been him. Oh my God. <clears throat> Wanted to see how well this would fish on a normal spinning rod with like light braid. So now we're fishing this on a seven foot two spinning rod with 15 pound braid and a eight pound mono leader. Awesome. Don't drop him. Cool, cool. I was just about to start listing the kind of fish I would like to catch. And this is one of them. I wanted to catch a green sunfish. It was a little bit more sizable than that last one. We got this guy right here. Kind of shaky. Jesus. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. I think that was second cast. Awesome. Doing good, doing good. Phone overheated, but we got this nice little green sunfish here. We found some fish, so I'm gonna take a break, stop fishing, let the phone cool down, and then we'll start filming again. Cool. Oh, come on, come back for it. Oh, that one feels better. <laughs> He's not. He's actually, I think, the smallest one of today. Cool. Picture perfect green sunfish. That one's kind of big. He is like, I don't know, something's wrong with that one. Oh, there we go. He was like stunned. He's going crazy now. That was weird. I've never seen one do that. This is the biggest of the day, I think. Looks right in the top of the mouth. There we go. I think we just kind of stunned him with that hook set. That's a pretty nice one. Quality little green sunfish. All right. Let's get out of this spot before I do that again. Yes, <laughs> kind of struggled for this one. I really wanted something that wasn't a green sunfish. And we got a little long ear sunfish. Look at that guy, blue fins. Come over here in the sun. Super, super awesome looking fish.
nice nice i don't have too much more time to fish today so we're gonna make a couple casts at this stump over here and then we're gonna head out of here All right, well, that is the video. That was the Euro Tackle B Vibe. Had a lot of fun fishing it. I have one more left that I'm saving for personal use, non-filming. I enjoyed fishing them. Probably gonna pick up more. Like I said, go check out Lucas the Fisherman. He's a lot better at catching these cool little fish than I am. And uh, yeah. See y'all next time. Here we go. Dude, that is so bad. I think I'm good right here. Take another step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm good right here, bro.